Around the globe, a handful of snakes are capable of causing severe harm or death to humans. Although most snakes in the world are relatively harmless, a small number of species are quite dangerous to humans due to their aggressive behavior and potent venom. In this video, we will explore the top 10 most venomous snakes in the world. Number 10. Russell's Viper This notoriously bad-tempered snake is responsible for roughly half of the fatal snake bites in its geographic range. That's remarkable, considering that its wide distribution, from Southeast Asia to the Indian subcontinent and east to Taiwan, overlaps with crates, cobras, and several other noteworthy venomous snakes. The snake's cranky disposition and its focus on rats and lizards as favored prey might account for this lethality. Another contributing factor is the extreme complexity of the snake's venom. A Russell's venom features a really unique cocktail of components that just hammers all parts of the body. It's definitely not a snake you want to tangle with. So if you don't want to come across one of the snakes in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave the like. Don't risk it! Number 9. Copperhead This America's most common venomous snake can be found all across eastern and southern North America in a wide diversity of habitats ranging from uplands to woodlands to grasslands. The copperhead is a surprising entrant on this list given its reputation for many bites and few fatalities. That might be explained by the relatively low volume of venom delivered in a typical strike. Young copperheads are wily hunters, wiggling their green-tipped tails to lure in small lizards and rodents. The neon tail tip disappears as they age. In confrontations with people, copperheads generally favor flight over fight. Number 8. Common Death Adder The common death adder is one of the deadliest snakes in Australia. But while fearsomely named, this snake annually causes fewer deaths than a wide range of animals, including kangaroos, bees, dogs, cattle, and ponies. Considered a master of camouflage, this ambush predator covers itself with leaf litter and debris, then lies in wait on the forest floor for small mammals, birds, and amphibians, using its tail. Curiously, the snake's appetite for amphibians is making it a lot less common. Adult death adders feed on the invasive cane toad, which is itself toxic, with poison glands that are deadly to the snakes and other reptiles, such as turtles and crocodiles, that feed on them. Number 7. Belcher's Sea Snake Like the other three sea snakes on this list, the Belcher's Sea Snake is found from the eastern Indian Ocean through Southeast Asia and into northern coastal Australia. The species tends to stick to reef areas where they prey on fish and go out of their way to avoid human reef divers and snorkelers. All the sea snakes are relatively docile, and you really have to bug them to get them to bite you. In addition, the belcher's tiny mouth and short fangs mean any bite is unlikely to penetrate a wetsuit. If you do encounter one while snorkeling, appreciate it as a rare opportunity to see one in the wild rather than a cause for fear. Unless you mess with it, it's not going to mess with you. Number 6. Olive Brown Sea Snake This most common sea snake on the northern Australian coast can grow to six and a half feet long and can spend two hours underwater before it needs to surface for a breath. Found as deep as 230 feet, this snake more commonly prefers shallow reef flats where it preys on fish, crabs, and prawns. Like most sea snakes, it has a paddle tail that helps it swim. But the olive brown's tail also has light-sensitive photoreceptors, which are thought to enable the snake to stay completely hidden to avoid predators. Unlike rattlesnakes and other vipers, whose venom is primarily causing severe tissue damage and internal bleeding, sea snake venom is dominated by neurotoxins. A bite often causes little pain at the site, but can cause massive systemic failures, including paralysis and respiratory collapse, often with a delayed onset that makes poisonings difficult to reverse, even when antivenom is available. In addition, the snake's preference for hunting the same night-feeding fish targeted by bottom trawlers makes it a potential hazard for fishermen hauling nets. Number 5. Eastern Coral Snake 
Red touches black, friend of Jack. Red touches yellow, kill a fellow. That's the rhyme millions of school children learned to warn them that the eastern coral snake is best left alone. Ranging throughout the southeastern and gulf coasts in the United States, the coral preys primarily on reptiles, including other snakes. One of the few terrestrial venomous snakes in the United States with fixed hollow fangs. It's even less prone to confrontation than the copperhead, making it America's least aggressive venomous snake. Number 4. Blue Lip Sea Crate Found near coral reefs and rocky areas along the seashores of Southeast Asia, this vibrantly colored four-foot-long serpent was the first venomous sea snake known to science. Blue-lipped crates, docile and slow to bite, inject a venom dominated by postsynaptic neurotoxins that causes little or no local effects but can lead to paralysis, muscle damage, or bleeding within hours. The snakes are known for their unique strategy for keeping warm, by curling up in nesting burrows created by wedge-tailed shearwaters. Research shows the snakes use the body heat generated by shorebirds to raise their own temperature by 10 degrees. Number 3. Many Banded Crate In Southeast Asia, where the most venomous snakes are sea dwellers, the many banded crate stands out as a deadly terrestrial species. A nocturnal hunter in lowland marshy areas that preys primarily on fish, the crate is also known to eat lizards, frogs, eels, rodents, and other snakes, including members of its own species. The extremely powerful venom, composed mainly of neurotoxins, has been estimated to produce mortality rates as high as 70 to 100 percent. In 2001, herpetologist Joe Slowinski died 29 hours after being bitten by a crate that had been misidentified as the white-banded wolf snake, a harmless crate lookalike. Number 2. Common Yellow-Lipped Sea Crate Sharing the same geographic range as the olive brown and belchers sea snakes, the common yellow-lipped sea crate is one of the few sea snakes that comes ashore, which can make a moonlight stroll along a Southeast Asian beach potentially perilous. People living there say they usually see 10 to 20 snakes on the same stretch of beach every night. Relatively docile in water, they're even less aggressive on land because their movements are much more deliberate and awkward. Most people who get bitten by these snakes likely step on them because they're not watching where they're walking. Number 1. Timber Rattlesnake Ranging from eastern North America to as far west as Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas, the timber rattlesnake is the only rattler species in the populous northeastern United States and is considered endangered or threatened throughout much of that region. Found mostly in woodlands, timber rattlers prey on rodents, birds, insects, and amphibians and are known to hunt during daytime in spring and autumn then switching to nocturnal hunts in warm weather. The snake's highly toxic and relatively complex venom, long fangs, and high venom yield make it potentially one of America's most lethal serpents. However, timber rattlers are generally considered shy and nervous and are quick to seek shelter when encountered afield. The species tends to rattle and faint extensively before striking, though it will stand its ground if harassed. Thanks for watching! What do you think of these 10 venomous snakes? Have you seen one of them in real life? Let me know in the comments below! Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time!